USV getting pumped to take on Corey Rawson on the road. Our first play here is a toss to Jackson Roars. Right here, who makes a positive gain on the right, makes a move, makes a nice cut up the field for a positive gain. Now it's power football time as Devin Sosley takes the handoff and storms through the secondary after getting wrapped up. Now it's Caden Hurley. Back to pass, rolling out, but he is sacked by Tommy Stoffer, the other quarterback. Now it's Sosley who takes the rock to the left for a small gain, and the rushing defense for Corey Rossum was solid tonight. Third and long, Hurley throws it down the seam to Connor Sanders for the first down on a play right here. The tight end making the play deep down the middle. Now it's Roars who takes the draw sweep to the right and finds his way outside for the positive game. Hit right out there out of bounds. Now a few plays later, it's fourth and goal and Roars is stuffed right here. Nice wrap up and a turnover on downs. Now Corey Rawson with the possession. Deontay Davis takes the draw for a big gain and drags a few defenders with him. He is just a workhorse right here. Lowers his shoulder, keeps on moving and keeps on dragging. Now Tommy Stauffer for the keeper. Up the middle for another first down. Now Davis gets the call again with another big run. He works as a power back, but he's also so elusive and leads to first down yardage. Now it's Stauffer with the rollout completion to Grant Bacon right here. Comes back for the pass and heads out of bounds. Now a few plays later, it's fourth down once again and USV goes for it, but the whole, but I'm sorry, the USV defense holds as the pass falls incomplete. Let's look at our final score. Upper side of Valley wins the nail biter 26 to 20. Hurley 13 of 21, 220 in the air and a passing touchdown while Roars with 15 carries, a buck 36 and two touchdowns on the ground.